Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with three awesome, beautiful women on YouTube. And these girls are going to do a collab with me on Diabetes Awareness Month. And the ribbon for diabetes is silver, and then it has a little um, red a blood drop on, in the corner on one of the ends. Now this collaboration is with Makeup Mama, Christine Lee 314, and Jessica Bissett. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. But I will have their links to their videos um, down below in the description bar so that you, guys, that you can go check them out and you know give them some love. This is a um, important month for me because I have a lot of family members that have diabetes. Luckily, I thank God I'm not one of the many, many family members that I have. I didn't, didn't get it, but I do have a lot of family members that do have diabetes and struggle. I have friends with diabetes that struggle with it every day, and I just wanted to show my support in the only way I know how, which is makeup. So first, I am going to <clears throat> take, sorry, I'm kind of getting over a cold. I am going to take this Italia eyeliner, it's silver, and I'm going to take that all over my lid. It doesn't have to be fancy, just put it on there because we're going to blend it with a brush. Just make sure it's, it's on there. This is going to be a silver smoky look with a red lip. Incorporate all the colors into one look. And also do my favorite lip color, which is red. And we're going to be putting um, silver eyeshadow over this to set it so that it doesn't smear or smudge. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, probably not. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Real Techniques. This is the shading brush, and I'm just going to kind of blend that together. Onto the lid. And then I'm taking the same brush and I'm going to go into my chamois palette that you guys always see me use. And I'm going to take this silver color here and go over that um, eyeliner. Just to set it so that it doesn't smear or smudge because we all know that certain eyeliners like to smudge and I'm just patting that on the lid I'm not going to um, do brushing motions because I just want to get the best color payoff I can Okay, now I'm going to take, again, actually, you know what, no, I'm going to take this brush here, which is the e.l.f. Uh, blending, the e.l.f. blending brush, because it's a, a bit more uh, fluffy than the Real Techniques one, and I'm taking any, just take any black, I'm taking the one from my shiny palette, and just put it just on that outside corner there, and into the crease just a little bit, not a lot. So you don't want the black to kind of overtake it at all. I just wanted to make that a smoky look though. So just on the outside corner there. 
kind of take it up into the crease just a little bit, not too much. And then what I'm going to do is take this brush right here. This is the crown brush. And I'm going to blend, 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 blend that out so that it's not so dark. I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. brush. I'm just getting the tip of it black. I'm not really doing the whole, the whole thing. And then I'm just taking it on the very outside corner there. And then turning it and putting it in the crease. Just the outside crease though. Not much further than where the black is going. And then taking my crown brush and blending it out. So that the two colors kind of mesh together. Okay. Now I am going to move my brushes. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that silver color and a little bit of the black, just very lightly, and go on the lash line to kind of define it a little bit more, make it look a little more, more smoky. Not a lot. Just, a, just enough to have a little bit of definition. So not, don't get too much black on there because I don't want the black to be the focal point. I want the silver. So just take a little bit on the lash line. Okay, now I am going to take, it's not letting go, okay, I got stuck. Um, I'm going to take this automatic eyeliner from Ulta, and I'm just going to line the lid and make a very, very small wing. almost can't tell that it's even lined. That's how thin you want this line to be. And then wing it out very little bit in the corner here. Just like I said, just a very small. I know on my lid it looks like it's a lot of liner, but honestly, that's not a lot at all. And then just do the other side. Just like that. Very simple, very um very small wing. That has that have doesn't have to be very like extravagant or anything. Just a very 
elegant. I, I like those kind of colors together. And then I am going to take this. I'm going to take the coal eyeliner from Ulta and I'm going to line the waterline with it. It's not going to be very dark. I just kind of want to blend the smoky effect of the uh, eyeshadow that I put on there with the waterline so it doesn't look so empty. You, don't, you can st skip this step if you want to. You don't have to do this. I just choose to because I don't like seeing the gap of between the shadow and the liner. And then just very lightly do the tight line if you want to. I'm just going to blend it in. Okay. Now I am going to clean up any fallout from the black. Because we all know black does tend to fall out very easily. Okay, now I'm going to take my e.l.f. palette here and I am going to use this straight edge brush. It's just a generic brush. And I'm going to take that with the brown and the black that I normally do and fill in a little bit of my eyebrows. Lately when I've been wearing makeup I have not been doing my eyebrows. I just haven't felt the need to. When I do wear makeup I haven't been wearing makeup very often lately. It's just too much. Okay, and then I'm going to take my spoolie that I have, well, I'll take this one, this end here, and brush that out. Okay. Now for the lips, which is my favorite part of this whole, I mean, this, the eyes are partially my favorite part, but the lips are definitely my thing lately. I'm going to take this lip liner. It is in the shade Cabernet. And it is like this really dark red color. And I'm just going to line and fill in the lips with this. And then to go over that and make it kind of glossy and a little bit lighter, I am going to take this beautiful um, shade. It's in the shade 120 Vivacious, and it is Revlon Colorburst, and it's just this really cool red, bright, it's like a bright red. I'm just going to go over that, and it smells like mint. I always I love that about it.
And that is the completed look for Diabetes Awareness Month. It is just a smoky silver with a red lip because these, like I said, the ribbon is silver and the there's a little red blood drop at the end of the tail of the ribbon. So yeah, that is the completed look. I hope you guys like this video and like I said, go check out the other girls that are doing this collaboration with me. Go check their videos out and give them, you know, give them a thumbs up, subscribe to their channels, and just give them some love because they are really, really awesome people and us. They have awesome channels that I, I just love them. So yeah, if you like this video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down here. And I will have a link down below not only to their channels, but also to my Twitter and my Facebook and my Instagram. I post pictures of all my looks on there. I post videos on there and just any other updates that you guys need to know about what I'm doing on this channel. This is my first video back in about a week and a half, two weeks because I just needed a break to kind of rejuvenate myself and come up with more ideas of, as to what to uh, provide for you guys. So yeah, that is about it. Uh, don't forget that you are beautiful just the way you are, and I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.